Hello and welcome to another about Raggy's Bears Wine Spirits review on a very changeable Father's Day, uh, June the 16th, 2019. Today we're going to be reviewing from the Belgian uh, Bears box set from Little. Like £10.99 or £12.99 for six beers. But these beers are four or five quid at most shops. So, you know, it is a good uh, box set. This is Golden Draw. That's how you pronounce it. Golden Drak. Uh, Belgian beer, 10.5% volume. Oh my god. I am looking forward to this little fella. Um, this beer is named in honor of the top of the belfry in Gwent, Belgium. A symbol of power and independence. I couldn't read that other bit. So. Let's get a decent glass for the occasion. Another Belgian beer glass. Duvel. Pull that bit of whatever it is away. Right, I've never drank this before. Totally looking forward to it. Just hope it doesn't gush. That's it, thank God for that. I've had my experience with gushing beers and uh, not keen on. Even from the, you know, just by pouring it, you can see this is going to be an interesting one. So I'll get every drop out. So. Wow. Brown in colour. Brown. Mahogany brown in colour. Um, the head. The white head. I cannot see any carbonation or lacing, but it is very dark. So, you know. And judging by how, how large the head is, uh, probably won't. On the aroma. <sighs> Lovely hops and fruity hops on the aroma. Not, not citrus hops, fruit hops. Like a dark fruit hops on the aroma. <sighs> Definitely likes a banana and that in there. I mean, on, on the page, I can't show you my phone because it bloody, it's run out of charge. And my phone does the bear review um, in the shed. It actually does the um, internet. So it says it. I do not reveal my true nature in the first swallow. Most bears contain hops and water. I do too. But you also taste roasted malt and coffee. Also says it contains three times more malt than lager. I would think it would. It's an off percent. So. Yeah, explosion of mould, an explosion of very high um, strength, um, alcohol taste as well. Definitely taste banana there. Just tastes a lot, of, a lot of like a, a lot of other uh, Belgian beer. Wow, the strength. Um, it's, what is it? Three o'clock. Yeah. Um, first beer of the day. Um, and uh, wow, I'm not going to be drinking for a while after this because <laughs> straight away, you know, you know, you drink something and straight away, you know that you're going to get walloped by it. Well, this is one of them. And it's amazing that something that's only ten point five percent, so it's not that strong. Yeah, I can drink this and I can drink like whiskies and that and get a wallet the same. Don't know why. Forty percent versus ten percent. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be getting wallet by ten percent. But if it was a four percent, I mean I, I drank beers at a four percent and after that first pint I'm like, wow, what the hell? And our bodies are made up so strange, you know, and uh, sometimes I can drink a, a glass of wine that size and not even not even affect me at all, which is uh, you know, not good. Yeah, that the first sip, and I'm, you know, you, you know it, you know it's going to get you. Mm. So I do love this box set from Lidl. Um, exclusive to Lidl, two Prats, two Bornhams, and two Golden Drops, if that's how you pronounce them. Um, 
my pronunciation is probably rubbish, you know. I'm from Nottingham, you know, we don't talk like that. <clears throat> wow, that's got some amazing strength in it. I'm trying to pick out some of the flavours. Uh, some of these beers are really tough to pick the flavours out. See if I can... Uh, let me start to... So, on untap.com, it's got a rating of 3.5 out of 5. Let's see if I can bring up the reviews, because it's, it's nicer to talk, you know, when you know a little bit more about the beer. Although, well, on this untapped, everybody just... Um, yeah, let's see what it says. They just post photos instead of actually talking about it, which doesn't help me. Oh, you must be unlogged in. See if I can do it. If I can't do it, I can't do it. But straight away, um, oh, it, uh, it does give you a good wallop in. Yes, that's 10.5. It is named after the, the Golden Dragon at the top of the Belfry in Ghent. In Belden, that's what I was trying to read. Dark Triple Ale. So, wow, I'm really feeling it. I tell you, I haven't had a sip. So it says here on Wikipedia, Golden Drog was a strong scent of alcohol, no shit, which hampers the ability to easily define its aroma. Still, there was a powerful fragrance of barley, ripe plums and cherries. I knew it was dark fruits uh, that I was tasting because, bloody hell, it did not hit you. Different tasters worldwide mention a sweet coffee aroma. Okay, let's look at the coffee aroma. Now, you know, when you read other people's reviews, you get a hint, and then you go on, and I have to actually smell sweet coffee, which is weird. Taste is influenced by somewhat less, less by the alcohol. It hints at sour cherries and brown sugar. The aftertaste is somewhat bitter. Golden Jack has a high alcohol content for about 10 half percent and was awarded the best tasting beer in the world in 1998 by the American Tasting Institute, now Chef's Best. So, you know, not beer with lots of complex flavours, but, uh, you know, that is nice, isn't it? Ten and a half percent. Won't need many, many of these to make you fall asleep. Probably one. I'm enjoying this. So, Father's Day, uh, the weather's crap. You know, it's sunny one minute and chucking it down next. Anybody who's got a barbecue this weekend, not a good weekend. I'm hoping to have a bit of a barbecue next weekend if the weather's nice, but uh, it, um, we shall see on that one. Get some steaks on the barbie or something. I've got some nice red wine that I'm going to be reviewing in the next week. And uh, five of them are totally new to me, which is nice, you know. It's not, and this, obviously, this is new to me. Got a, about this, six, nine, 20, about 27 new items today, beers and wines to review, all new, which is great, you know. It's great to be able to talk about new stuff. And, uh, you know, Great for tasting purposes. And last night, my son's delivery come for me. And I uh, got 41 beers in that delivery for, for my birthday next uh, a week on Monday. And uh, 40 of those beers are new to me. The non-new one being Fuller's Golden Pride, which is a top 10 beer. Any Anyone's beer. If it's not a top 10 beer on your beers, then I am gobsmacked because, you know. So as for this fella, can't drink it fast. I'll go on the back. And good beers. You shouldn't be drinking fast. You shouldn't be necking beers like this. One, you'd be pissed as a fart uh, very quickly. And two, you're missing out on the flavour. I mean, I can drink wine like water. Um, you know, home brewing it, you can. Uh, the the homebrew wines especially, but not so much the uh, wines out of a 
you know, commercial wines. Right? You can't drink them and blah, blah, But And, uh, you know, but if you savour it, I mean, at room temp, this is at room temperature, so it's, it's lovely. It's, and, it, you know, being a dark, slightly darker beer, you want to be drinking it warm. You don't want to be drinking it cold, you know. Certain beers are better cold, certain beers are better warm. This is something that I'd like to see put on beer uh, bottles. Drink warm, drink cool, you know, chill it before. You know, that should be standard. But also, on beer bottles, you know, see, smell, taste. Shepherd and Neem do it, Badger Beers do it, I think, as well. Uh, some other companies do it. And, you know, if you see a beer like this, and it's a five or some a bottle, if that on in the super, any in the beer shops, that's what you're looking at, about a five for that. Um, this rather. And, uh, you know, you want to know what you're tasting, don't you? If someone says to me, that tastes the plums, I'm, whoa. Get me a bottle, you know. That's for plums. I'm not getting plums, but uh, it's a slightly, it won't be a sweet plum like you get in Morris, um, in Titanic and uh, St. Peter's Plum Porters. It's a very, uh, like a strong plum, you know, if, if it is plum. It is hard to pick out flavours with these because the alcohol, the strength does uh, mask it. Oh, it's taken me a while to drink. I don't know how long this review is lasting for. I do apologise, but this is quality, you know, and uh, quality deserves that. A little bit longer to review. So, Sunday, back to work tomorrow. I've had no weekend, painting old chuffing weekend. The business is Thursday now. Uh, just got to finish off one bit tonight, half an hour's painting, a bit of cleaning, that's my kitchen done, and uh, which is good because uh, we've got kitchen units that have been on the walls for like 13 years now, and white units with bloody ingrained bits in, and it's all right, but you know, nowadays they're all flat, which is great because you don't get dirt going in the ingrained, you know, dust and all that rubbish. So I painted them and what the, the pound cornices or pelmets, whatever you call them, they've gone slightly duller than the actual uh, kitchen units, which is not great because it's like, it's like two-tone colours. So now I paint them all a light grey. looks fantastic. Four coats, though. Yeah. Ah, oh, flipping eight painting at times. And then we painted the white wall, a wall that needed six coats, six coats of paint. You know. But another room done, you know. And that's my that's my winter beer review room. So stop up, course. This is all right for the spring, summer, and autumn, but in the winter, no, it's not good for the winter. It's too damn cold, even with the gas fire in the background. So, oh, to break this down, lovely browny colour to it. Uh, I can't see any carbonation or lacing, but being as it's still got a, a remnants of a head all the way down, there definitely is some aroma. Dark fruit hop aroma, which is you know lovely. Um, there's supposed to be plums and cherries in there, sweet coffee on the nose. Um, I didn't translate into the taste that much, but the strength of it 10.5 percent, you know, uh, is something to save you. Is it worth the cash to buy in that box yeah. set behind me? Can you see it? There you go. Hello, box set. Yeah. Battered already, um, and that box set behind me 12 99 I think it was for six bottles. Well worth it. I was going to get it last year, but it ran out of stock. And uh, you know, it's one of them that you think, Oh, I don't really want to pay that much. But and I've just looked online at some of the beer shops and a five or a bottle. So to get 30 quid's worth, respectively, for like 12 99 much very much a bargain, very good, and they're all strong. You know, they'll test your, if you're a lager drinker, you're going to not like these. No, they're not for you. If you're a beer drinker, you can drink the stronger stuff, then you'll love this. Take your time and enjoy. So out of five. Wow. Quality. Absolute quality. There's nothing you can say about it. Uh, not quite a top 10 beer on my list because I can't get the complex flavours that you can from uh, 
some of the cheaper beers, uh, some of the lesser ABV beers, you know, still a very good beer. So it's probably just outside the top 10 beers. Um, but I'm still going to give it a 4.6 out of 5. Very nice. Very good, strong beer. Some immense flavours. And now, mm -hmm. I better go and lie down because now I feel drunk. Oh, that was good. Sweet aftertaste. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh, see you later, actually. There's going to be a few more reviews today. Ta ra!